ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ பிஃபோர் கெட்டிங் டு டாபிக் லெட் மீ இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் மை செல்ஃப் ஐ எம் யுவதாரணி தேர்ட் இயர் எம்பிபிஎஸ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஸோ டுடே ஐம் கோயிங் டு டேக் டாபிக் ஆன் வைட்டமின் சி வாட் ஆர் வைட்டமின்ஸ் இட் இஸ் அன் ஆர்கானிக் காம்பவுண்ட் ரிக்வயர்ட் இன் டயட் இன் ஸ்மால் அமௌண்ட் ஃபார் த நார்மல் மெயின்டெனன்ஸ் ஆஃப் க்ரோத் அண்ட் ஹெல்த் ஆஃப் த ஆர்கானிசம் இன் கிரீக் இட் மீன்ஸ் வைட்டல் ஃபார் லைஃப் இட் இஸ் ப்ராட்லி கிளாசிஃபைடு இன்ட்டு டூ டைப்ஸ் ஃபேட் சொலியபிள் அண்ட் வாட்டர் சொலியபிள் அண்ட் ஃபேட் சொலியபிள் இட் இஸ் வைட்டமின் ஏ டி இ அண்ட் கே அண்டர் வாட்டர் சொலியபிள் இட் இஸ் நான் பி காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் அண்ட் பி காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் அண்டர் நான் பி காம்ப்ளெக்ஸ் இட் இஸ் வைட்டமின் சி விச் இஸ் அ டுடேஸ் டாபிக் ஹியர் வில் பி டீலிங் வித் இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் கெமிக்கல் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் டயட் ரிசோர்ஸஸ் ரெக்கமெண்டட் டெய்லி அலவன்ஸ் பயோசிந்தசிஸ் அண்ட் மெட்டபாலிசம் பயாலஜிக்கல் ஃபங்க்ஷன்ஸ் டிஃபிஷியன்சி சிம்டம்ஸ் அண்ட் மெகா டோசஸ் ஆஃப் வைட்டமின் சி நெக்ஸ்ட் இட் இஸ் தி ஹிஸ்ட்ரி Do you know what led to the discovery of vitamin C? During the 17th century, sailors got scurvy on ships. It was a very crucial disease during those period. People felt very difficult to get rid of this. Then, it was James Lind who performed an experiment on lemon and proved that it was preventive for scurvy. Though the remedy was found, the component in lemon which was essential to cure scurvy was not known hopkins termed this component as accessory factor only after 1930s it was known to the world that it is vitamin c present in lemon and other sources of fruits and vegetables was proven to for scurvy and other vitamin c deficiency diseases let's move into the introduction of this topic Vitamin C is a water soluble versatile micronutrient. Here water soluble indicates that it is soluble in water and the excess amount is excreted in urine as such. It serves as a cofactor to facilitate the action of various enzymes in our body. Vitamin C is an essential dietary component meaning vitamin C cannot be synthesized in our body and it has to be acquired through diet. The most important and powerful property of vitamin C is that it serves as an antioxidant which strengthens the immune system to fight against the free radicals in our body and promotes healthy aging. Next, chemical structure. Chemically, vitamin C is called as ascorbic acid. Other names include ascorbate. Ascorbic acid is the purest form of vitamin C. It is a exos derivative and it closely resembles monosaccharides in structure. Vitamin C exists in two form. One is the reduced form which is called as L-ascorbic acid and the other is the oxidized form which is called as L-dehydroascorbic acid. Next, dietary sources. Indian gooseberries and goa are the richest source of vitamin C. Other powerful sources include citrus fruits like lemon and oranges, green leaf vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, spinach, tomatoes and potatoes, strawberries, green and red peppers. Trace of is present in meat, fish, cereals and pulses. But milk is a very poor source of vitamin C. In addition, cooking and storage of food for a long period can destroy the vitamin C content in them. Next, recommended dietary allowance. Daily intake of vitamin C for adults includes 60 to 70 mg per day. For pregnant and lactating women, it is extra 20 to 40% of vitamin C should be consumed in their diet. Since vitamin C cannot be synthesized in our body daily intake is very much essential for our survival next biosynthesis most of the plants and animals can synthesize ascorbic acid on their own now let us see each one in general in plants after a sequence of various step they synthesize vitamin C through the conversion of mannose or galactose into ascorbic acid whereas in animals it is a glycogenolysis dependent process 
Here, glucose is the starting material, which after a sequence of various enzyme-driven steps, it is converted into ascorbic acid through uronic acid pathway. This uronic acid pathway is also an alternative oxidative pathway of glucose. Now, let me ask you a question. Why humans and other higher primates can't synthesize vitamin C? Do you know the reason? The reason is, humans cannot synthesize vitamin C due to lack of an enzyme called L-gluconolactone oxidase. That is, the last step of uronic acid pathway. Conversion of L-gluconolactone into ascorbic acid in the presence of an enzyme gluconolactone oxidase does not occur in human. This is the reason for which humans cannot synthesize vitamin C. This has happened due to long-term mutation on the gene of an enzyme, which has caused its disappearance in humans. Next, biochemical functions. Talking about the beneficial aspect of vitamin C, it is numerous in number. It is helpful in collagen formation, bone formation, iron and hemoglobin metabolism, tryptophan metabolism, tyrosine metabolism, folic acid metabolism, peptide hormone synthesis, synthesis of corticosteroid hormone, immunological function and preventive action on cataract and chronic diseases. Now let us see one by one. In collagen formation, vitamin C acts as a cofactor on enzyme lysyl hydroxylase and proline hydroxylase which acts on lysine and proline and helps in the conversion of inactive proto-collagen into active collagen. Since collagen is one of the important structural protein in our body, it is required for the maintenance of connective tissues, bone, capillary, dentines, etc. In post-operative patient, vitamin C is given as a supplement along with protein to facilitate quick wound healing and tissue repair. Next, bone formation. In bone formation, it is required to regulate bone building minerals like calcium. Vitamin C is also needed to destroy cells that cause damage to bone and help in proper development of bones and tissues. Next, iron and hemoglobin metabolism. Here, vitamin C acts as a reducing agent. That is, our body observes iron only when it is in ferrous form. So, vitamin C here acts as a reducing agent by converting ferric form of iron into ferrous form and helps in absorption of iron by the small intestine. In addition, it is also helpful in the conversion of methemoglobin to hemoglobin. Next, tryptophan metabolism. Here, vitamin C is required for the hydroxylation of tryptophan and in tyrosine metabolism, it is required for the degradation of tyrosine. Next, folic acid metabolism. Here, it is required for the formation of tetrahydrofolate and it is also involved in the maturation of erythrocytes. Next, peptide hormone synthesis. In peptide hormone synthesis, it acts as a cofactor on enzyme peptidylglycine hydroxylase, which is required for the hydroxylation of glycine. Next, synthesis of corticosteroid hormone. As adrenal gland possess high amount of vitamin C in them, it is required for the synthesis of corticosteroid hormone. Next, immunological function. Here, vitamin C is required for the synthesis of immunoglobulins and it also increases the phagocytic action of leukocytes. It also has a preventive action on cataract and chronic diseases like cancer, polio, gallstones, etc. Next, deficiency symptoms. The most significant deficiency disease of vitamin C is curvy, which is also called as hypovitaminosis C. Symptoms include dry and splitting hair or corkscrew appearance of hair, fatigue, 
frequent nose bleeds weakened immune system swollen joints slow wound healing dry and scaly skin is brushing gingivitis bleeding and swollen gums now let us talk about scurvy in patients who present with scurvy early symptoms include fatigue lethargy when left untreated they may cause myalgias gum disease loosening of teeth poor wound healing and even emotional changes can occur in later stages they may result in jaundice generalized edema neuropathy fever and eventually death can occur for easy remembrance of symptoms a mnemonic shades could be useful here y stands for swollen and bleeding gums h for hemorrhage a for anemia d for delayed wound healing e for edema that is swelling of joints and s for scrobotic grocery let us discuss about this finding scrobotic grocery in detail scrobotic grocery is one of the significant condition of infantile scurvy or scurvy in general the name itself suggest that it occurs in infants of age 6 to 12 months it is quite uncommon nowadays affected individuals present with irritability failure to thrive swollen and painful extremities with restriction of movements teeth are loose and brittle and costochondral separation are typical conditions here when the condition worsens the affected individual presents with progressive anemia crocks crew appearance of hair weight loss anorexia and death occurs eventually let's have a look at this picture this costochondral bleeding may give a suggestive condition whether it is caused due to scurvy or rickets because costochondral bleeding occurs both in case of rachitic grocery and in scrobotic grocery how would you differentiate them the difference is in case of rachitic grocery there is successive bead like appearance at the costochondral junction and prominent nodulatory appearance at this junction on palpation the bone is not tender here whereas in case of scrobotic grocery the sternum is sink inward and displaced posteriorly and the ribs are protruded anteriorly it is sharp angulation at the costochondral junction and on palpation the bone is tender so there is a main difference between rachitic grocery and scrobotic grocery next excess intake of vitamin c do you know that whether it is toxic or non toxic this has been a controversial topic for many years few say that mega doses of vitamin c is preventive for common cold and other chronic diseases like cancer polio etc but the result is just not derived in addition normal intake of vitamin c is preventive during pregnancy and the reduced form of vitamin c when taken in excess amount does not cause any harmful effect but the oxidized form when taken in excess amount can cause toxic condition to humans next treatment the most easiest and simplest way of prevention and treatment from scurvy is eating foods rich in vitamin c and vitamin c supplements vitamin c supplements are nowadays available in the form of chewable tablets powder capsule etc now it's the exam point of view vitamin c is quite an important question for university exams it can be asked as an essay or a short note in case of short note it is write a short note on scurvy and detail the functions of vitamin c if in case of essay it is discuss the dietary sources rda biochemical functions 
and add a note on its deficiency symptoms. I hope that the session was useful for your friends. Thank you.